The 2025 Lenovo Legion Y700 is without a doubt the very best small form factor Android tablet that you can get for gaming, but it comes with one pretty significant flaw, or at least something that you'd have to know how to work around. Fortunately for you, I figured it out. What's up my dude, your friendly neighborhood Tony here and welcome to the Spare Tech Room. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set up your Y700, specifically the 2025 version. If you're not familiar, it comes automatically with kind of a Chinese setup. So all of the language is gonna be in Chinese and it's not gonna have the Google Play Store in it. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set all that up to get it going. That way, if you are an English speaker like I am, you'll be able to get fully up and running with your brand new Y700. If that kind of thing sounds cool to you, or if this video helps you out at all, do me a solid and consider subscribing. But without any further ado, let's jump to the top down camera and I'm going to show you exactly what to do when you first power up your brand new Y700. Okay, so here we are on the brand new 2025 Lenovo Legion Y700. And when you first fire it up, you're going to see this I don't know how to pronounce it, Zoo OS, Zooks OS. Uh, you're gonna see that splash screen here with a little button that of course is gonna be in Chinese at the very bottom. So this part's pretty straightforward. You just click on the only button available to you. And what's really cool here is it's gonna take you to a kind of language selection page. So you can select English here. Now, this is not going to change everything in the system to English for you. So there are a few other steps that you're gonna have to make sure you do after this. So it's not quite this simple, unfortunately, but we'll go ahead and select English for now and click next. Then we have some terms of service and a user agreement. So we'll just go ahead and select that we've read that and click next. Then you're going to want to connect to your Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and do that here. You should be able to find your Wi-Fi somewhere in this list. Just connect to it, type in your password and go from there. Okay. So once you've connected to your Wi-Fi, just click next at the bottom. And then you're going to have some privacy and basic settings. Now you don't have to select any of these options. I'll just run through them real quick for you. The first option is to join kind of this uh, user experience program that we have. I turn that off normally. Then you have a couple options for automatic updates. So the first one here, which will be the second toggle is just to have automatic updates set up so that way you're constantly on the newest version of your operating system. And the third option there is to have it automatically restart overnight whenever it does install an update. So that way you don't have to manually update it and it sets it to between two and 4 a.m. So as long as you're not using your tablet in the middle of the night, which, you know, depending on your schedule, you might be, but I'm not, I go ahead and leave that on. So that way it'll automatically do the updates and restart it if it needs to. So select whatever you want to select there and then click next. Then it talks about the Lenovo Legion game assistant, which is pretty cool. It has different ways of kind of measuring your uh, power of your computer or of your tablet to see how well it's doing. And you can alter different things, make some changes to have it run kind of on more uh, of a battery saving mode versus a, a high-end mode that's going to drain the battery a bit faster, but give you more power for your gaming. There's a bunch of stuff that comes with the Legion Game Assistant, but this is really just informational. So just go ahead and click next there. It talks about some of the AI smart services. I personally haven't used any of these, but they're there for you if it sounds like something you might be interested in. So we'll just click next there. Then it's going to talk about the Lenovo member benefits. So you can create an account and get data backup and a few other things. Not something I'm particularly interested. If you are, you can log in here, create your account and all that. But I'll just skip that for now. And you'll click keep skipping to continue to move forward. Now, this is kind of cool. You have the option to restore your data. So if you have another tablet like I do, I've got the 2023 model. So if you have that, then you can restore your data from that device or from a cloud backup, uh, or you can just set this up as a new device, which is what I'm going to do for now, just to kind of save time on getting this going. Now, of course, you can set up a password for your device. You can have a pin, you can have, uh, I believe, like a pattern uh, or just facial recognition. I'm just going to skip this for the time being, though. But if you want to set that up, you would do that here. And we'll go ahead and confirm that we're skipping. Now you have a couple system navigation options here. There's the gesture control option, which is kind of the standard nowadays, or uh, kind of an older option, but still pretty helpful at times, the three button navigation, which will have the three buttons at the bottom of your screen to navigate by going back or having all of your uh, menus appear on the screen or just going home. So that's an option as well. I tend to stick with gesture navigation, but you can kind of go with whichever one makes the most sense for you. I'll leave it on gesture for now. This talks a little bit about the display, which I believe has up to 408 PPI. It's a 3K display. It's pretty cool. It's not OLED or anything like that, which is unfortunate, but it's still a really high resolution display and definitely better than any of the older models. But this is just to give you some information on that. So we'll click next. 
And now the settings are completed. So we'll go ahead and click get started here and it will begin setting everything up for you. Now, once you're here, you are in the device. A couple things you're gonna notice here, if you swipe over especially, is you'll start to see a bunch of apps that are in Chinese. Now, I don't speak or read Chinese at all, so none of these are gonna be helpful for me and probably not for you if you're watching this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uninstall pretty much all of the apps that are on here just because they're not gonna be of any use to me. If you hold down on any of the apps, you should get a trash can icon and then the ability to uninstall it right from the device or to disable it if it's an app that you just can't uninstall. But you'll go through and do that. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your settings. So we'll go back to the main screen here, click on settings. And once that's opened up, you'll be able to go in here and add Bluetooth devices or change your screensaver or wallpaper or things like that. The first thing I wanna do though, is I wanna go into the search settings bar and you'll be presented with this pop-up here. This is talking about some of the keyboard functionality. We're gonna change the keyboard on this device, so I wouldn't really worry about it. You can click on this bottom left button right here to kind of reject it, and that will go away for you. But now, you'll just type in language, and you'll wanna pull up the language settings once that shows up here. So type in language, go ahead and hit the enter button. And what I like to do is click on this recognition language here on the left-hand side. This is for anybody that wants to use any of the pen devices that you can get for these tablets, which are really great. But you'll just go in here, change that over to English as well. Your system should already be set to English, so that shouldn't be a problem here. And you can go ahead and update it as well if there's any kind of system updates that you need to do. So we'll do that, make sure that's changed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go out of here and we're gonna search for the Google Play Services option. So I'm just gonna type in Google in the search bar, enter, and you'll see Google Basic Services. So we'll click on that. And down here at the bottom on the right, Google Basic Services, and you wanna make sure that you're turning on Google Basic Services. So this way, we can get the Google Play Store and the Google Keyboard and all the other Google apps, and they'll work fine on this tablet, but you gotta make sure you turn that on first. So we'll do that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and just get out of the settings menu here. We don't need to be in there any longer. What we're going to do now is go into the browser that's built into this device to download the Google Play Store. And from there, we'll be able to install whatever browser we wanna use, whether it's Firefox or Chrome or whatever you prefer. But this will be the one time that we have to use the browser installed already on this device. And you'll see it here at the very bottom of the screen. So we'll click in on that and it's gonna load here and give us a pop-up. Now, this is basically telling us uh, or asking us if we want to use some of the I guess, uh, advanced features of this browser, which we do have to use in order to uh, download what we're trying to do here. So we'll just check this little box and click the blue button on the bottom right. And that's gonna bring up their homepage here. So we'll give that a second to load. And from here, we're gonna go into the bar up at the top and we're just gonna go to google.com. So let's go ahead and type in google.com and enter. Oh, and we'll go ahead and click on just the first link here. That should take us to the Google home screen. And from here, we are going to search for APK Mirror, which is a website that you can go to to download all different kinds of third-party apps. So we'll just type in APK Mirror here. That's where we're gonna download the Google Play Store. Okay, and we'll see APK Mirror here at the very top of our search results. So we'll just click right into that. Now, again, this is a website that's gonna have a ton of different APKs, different uh, third-party apps that you can download. So we'll just go into search and we'll type in Google Play. And now once we search for Google Play, you'll see here a few different options. There's Google Play services, which we don't need. We've already got that enabled, but we will need the Google Play Store. So we'll click on just the latest version of that, which looks like for me is from July 19th, which is yesterday. So we've got that. We'll just click on uh, underneath that where it says nine variants because we want to make sure that we get the right variant. Then once that page pulls up, we'll scroll down a bit. Uh, you can click on scroll to available downloads if you want to, but it's basically just going to take you down <laughs> just a little bit. So we'll go here and you'll see a bunch of different options here. Now, you want to make sure two things. One, that it is an Android version, per preferably a newer Android version. Uh, and also you want to make sure that it is an APK. So you're going to see a lot of things here listed as bundle. And then there's one here that's listed as APK. So we'll go ahead and click on that APK. That's going to load up this page here. We'll scroll down a bit and you'll see the option to download the APK and you'll want to click on that. Now, it's going to take a second. It's going to say your download is starting and you should get a pop up here any moment. There it is. And this is basically asking you if you want to be sure that you want to download this. So you're going to want to click the button here at the top right. So we'll just select that. And then you're going to get another pop up here. 
Uh, you'll select always allow. It'll kind of give you a warning to let you know that Lenovo isn't particularly familiar with this application. That's not a concern. You'll just click continue installation here. Then I like to go ahead and click trust Google Play and to accept all permissions so that way you don't have to do any permission updates down the line. You'll just select that and hit install. That's gonna go ahead and install the Google Play Store. And once that's done, you can just click done down here at the bottom and you can get out of this browser. Now, if you scroll over to the right a couple tabs, you'll see that the Google Play Store is installed on your device. So you'll click into that. It might crash at first, but that's not a problem. You just click on it again and it'll open back up. And you wanna make sure you sign in with whatever your account and password is. So we'll go ahead and click sign in. I'll do that real quick. And there you are. Once you're in the Google Play Store, there's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to download. Of course, whatever your preferred browser is, you'll wanna get that installed on this device. So for me, it's Chrome. For you, it might be something else. But another thing you'll wanna download, at least that I prefer to have on my device, is the Google Keyboard, because the keyboard that's built into this device is uh, a Chinese-based keyboard. So you're gonna see a lot of different buttons popping up that are not in English. So I like to install the Google Keyboard on here. You could just search for that in the apps and go ahead and install that. Of course, you also want to install whatever browser you'd like, so I'm gonna install Chrome. And then once you've done that, we'll wanna go ahead and make sure that we set the keyboard and that we set the Chrome browser as our defaults on this tablet. So that way it doesn't try to use the built-in keyboard or the built-in web browser whenever you click on links. So once these are installed, we can go ahead and close out of that and we'll go back into our settings. And from here, we just go into the search bar and search for default. We'll click on default apps. And then on the right hand side here, scroll down a bit and you should see browser. We'll select browser, scroll down a little bit more and see browser app, select that. And you'll wanna switch that over to Chrome. So that means anytime you click on a link, it's gonna open up in Chrome or in whatever browser you prefer to use. Now for the keyboard, you wanna go back to your home screen here and we'll just scroll over until we find the keyboard. So you select that, hit accept here. And then we wanna click on enable in settings and that's gonna go into our settings and we'll want to make sure that we turn on G board, which is the Google keyboard and click okay. Now we can turn off the other keyboards as well. So that way those won't try to use at any point. Then you'll select your input method, select G board and go ahead and hit done. And so now whenever you try to search for anything or type anything, you're gonna see the Google keyboard come up. We'll just jump back into our settings and I'll just show you how we did from there. So if we select in here, you'll notice there's a completely different keyboard. You shouldn't run into any more of those issues of different Chinese uh, symbols or anything like that. It should all be in English. But that is pretty much it. Now you can, again, go in and delete all those other apps that you don't need, but you should have a tablet that is basically set up for a native English speaker at this point, and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on this particular tablet. I've got an unboxing and kind of overview that I've already done. So if you wanna see that video, I'll link to that up here and I guess right over here at the end of this video. And coming up, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this new 2025 version and my prior favorite, which was the 2023 version, as well as some videos on how to set up a lot of game emulation on them. I like to play a lot of Switch and PlayStation 2 and GameCube and that kind of thing. You can even play PlayStation 3 on a lot of these tablets nowadays. So I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos on how to get that set up for you. So. If there's anything in particular you're looking for, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time in the Spare Tech Room. Be good.